Hey again, so yesterday I tried to make this video and didn't have enough time to include it in my new natural products haul and it's actually kind of a good thing because there's probably a lot more uh, that I want to say about this book than that video um, had time for. So as I introduced yesterday, this book that I have read, I read it in December, is called Look Great, Live Green and it's by a lady called Deborah Burns who is the founder of a natural brand um, company in the Napa Valley called Somebody and I've reviewed tons of her products on different videos and I love them and I thought I get so many questions um, from my subscribers asking you know what should we stay away from what should we um, look out for in an ingredients list and to be honest um, so many people take natural skincare to kind of different degrees and what I've found is that um, I have had better results from natural skincare lines and I think they smell just as nice. I think sometimes they are uh, less expensive than mainstream brands, sometimes they're the same. And I just figured that, you know, we living, we're living in a world where we have tons of things coming at us and so to simplify what we're, what we're doing both in life and um, what we put on our bodies and face, just to simplify is always a good thing. And so I started with that premise and then I read this book and I definitely believe that um, natural skincare and natural brands are the way forward. And I just wanted to pick up on a couple of points that um, she makes in the book. And you can see that this book is quite lengthy. There's 322 pages and it's packed with amazing uh, information. It's packed with amazing suggestions and one thing about this book that I think is um, worth mentioning is that she divides her chapters into um, different like different categories. So whether it's body lotions or bath teas or makeup or hair care. So she has those categories and then what's really cool is that she, after she breaks down you know uh, what products um, to avoid and why and how products are made she then um, lists options for the least amount of added toxins and the one that I have marked is for bath salts and so what happens is she categorizes there are 12 suggestions for the least amount of added toxins and she categorizes them from good to better to best and even though she's the founder of her own natural brand company she gives tons of other um, natural skincare lines um, credit for being awesome as well and so anyway so for whatever it happens uh, to be that she's covering let's say it's soap so this is just completely random but so there's best, um, the best soap, number one, she loves Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps, number two, Zosimo's Botanical Soap Company, and number three, Badger Beauty Bar, number four, Pangea, and on and on and on. She does mention her company, but it's by far um, unbiased. So, uh, of course, she's going to say, like, you know, her bath salts is, are, are great, because they are, but then I think it's really fair and, and really... Um, I mean, I think it's really nice that she then gives us different options and, um, like I said, categorizes them into good, good, better, and best. And she has a baby, a section on babies, kids, and teens. She has a recipe section so you can kind of create and formulate your own uh, at-home skincare, which I haven't done yet, which I want to do because I think it will be really fun. And then... She has, um, she breaks down very uh, well-known, well, brands such as, let's just say, Dermalogica, and she goes through the ingredient lists from uh, Dermalogica, and I've, I've marked down, so there's the Dermalogica Multivitamin Power Firm Face Cream. I'm sure um, everybody's familiar with Dermalogica, and I think Dermalogica has a, has kind of a reputation for being natural to some people. And she just basically goes through different um, the different ingredients and she categorizes them into safe, harmful, potentially harmful. And she, she explains that there's 525 total ingredients, 141 of them are safe, 
269 are potentially harmful and 71 are harmful. And um, she seems very, very knowledgeable. And I just think that this is kind of a, a much better way of getting a broad um, understanding of, of skin care and natural skin care rather than me just kind of rambling on about what I think because I'm, I'm interested in it, but I'm by no means, uh, you know, uh, an expert, I would say. So um, she also has a great uh, appendix which does uh, direct you to good websites that will help us make better choices for cosmetics, one of which I just came across is www.cosmeticsinfo.org. I mean, she gives many, many. And then what's cool is she gives a natural ingredients list. Um, so, for example, she defines why aloe vera is in natural products and what it does for you, why arrowroot is um, included, bilberry, black willow, calendula, she goes on and on and on, and then she gives another appendix on toxic ingredients, and then she defines each toxic ingredient and why, um, what it's known, uh, what the harmful effects are that are known. And I just found this a really um, an easy read, an interesting read. And I think, you know, a trustworthy read because for me, who's tried um, her brand, I can only, ha I only have good things to say. And so I thought that she must know what she's talking about. The book, I think, retails, yeah, $16.95. And I got mine directly off her um, website, which is www.somebody.com. And um, just from the back, I just want to read... Um, one little line, because it says it's better than I could. So in these pages, with infectious enthusiasm and no-nonsense practicality, Burns shares her secrets, shortcuts, and even recipes. You learn to demystify label claims and ingredients in everything from soaps and lotions to deodorant, shampoo, and makeup. Detox skincare at every age and stage, baby, child, teen, and adult. And enjoy natural and organic products on any budget. Oh, and that's important, too. The, um, the tagline is, look great, live green, but it's choosing beauty solutions that are planet safe and budget smart. So not only are, um, does she cover, you know, why it's important to go natural or why it's the way forward to go natural in terms of our skincare, but she makes uh, price and um, people on a budget, she makes considerations for us who, uh, you know, don't want to be spending tons and tons of money. So that's the review, and um, let me know if anybody ends up reading it. I loved it.